How do you deal with those hacking, annoying, aggressive defenders? There's a lot of ways. But today, I'm going to teach you something that most of you have never even thought of. There's only one thing standing between you and mastering basketball. 10,000 hours. You're in the lab with Devin Williams. So you know what a matador is, right? You know the guy that waves his flag and the bull charges? Then he moves it out the way. Okay, yeah, so keep that in mind. There's a lot of different ways to deal with hand checking. If you play Call of Duty like me, there's so many different tactics you can use to get a dub. You can be a medic, a sniper, or you can customize how you want. Basketball is no different. When there's a defender in front of you, there's multiple ways to get by in a crafty way. Today, we're going to talk about what I like to call the Matador. One stands to take in order to get by those aggressive defenders. So I ran the test on people playing tag and two-hand touch football. I was interested in seeing how the runner would get by the opposition each time. Through most of the examples, I found some similarities. The cue for the tag is to stop the runner from getting from point A to point B. The routine was to touch the runner with two hands, and the reward for doing so is the tagger gets the ball and becomes a runner. And so when the tagger began to reach, I noticed that each time he would seem a little bit off balance. Now the runner would always move their arms and body out the way, and the cue for that was obviously the tagger reaching. Whenever the tagger missed, the runner would gain momentum and the tagger would lose momentum. This is exactly what the Matador looked like to me. As the bull charges and the flag is taken away, it misses its target and gets slightly off balance. Now check this out. Almost the exact same thing, right? Think about it. What's your first thought if someone's going by you? To stop them by any means? doesn't feel good getting scored on, right? So you try and hold them up somehow, and usually that's with your hands. I started noticing that I did this and wanted to make a little sense out of it. Once I know someone is charging me, I attack at the same time. You can either move your arm over the top or leave the arm behind. This allows you to proceed in one direction while you take away the defender's chance to slow you down. I know it sounds crazy, but the evidence is undeniable. But let's take it a step further. You know how on mixtapes you would see guys get crossed over and the player would throw their hand up? Most people thought it was just for swag. Sometimes it is though, but it's deeper than that. A good example is Trev. He just knew that whenever he crossed somebody over, they would try to make up by reaching or grabbing. So you see that arm come up so that the defender has nothing to grab onto. Bet you never thought about it like that before, huh? There's lots of different ways to deal with aggressive defenders especially when you use your off arm. This is one of them, the Matador. The others, I probably never teach in a video because it's gonna screw everything up for you as players because refs will start calling offensive fouls. If you ever run into me in person, ask me. I'll teach you six different things you can do with your off arm or your body to deal with those aggressive defenders. I searched all over social media and never saw anything that taught me this, so I hope this helps you guys out. Follow my Instagram for more tips, and I'll see you guys next time.